So today we're going to make a really cool pasta dish and you're just going to get your string mozzarella cheese and place it into and pour these bad boys right on top. Just like that. Perfect. You want it to get into the grooves. Now this sauce, you can use any sauce. You can substitute this for anything you want to do. Remember, this is just a general recipe. And if you have anything you want to add to it or take away from it, go ahead. This recipe is so adjustable and so easy. Next, you're going to get your chicken broth right here. And you're just going to pour right on the sides of your baking sheet. And you want to get to the halfway point. Okay, so we're not going to boil, boil our pasta because when you add the chicken broth, and you bake it, it's gonna cook everything nicely together. So it's not gonna end up raw, okay? So people, make sure you pour enough chicken broth so it gets around that temperature, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna add some pepperoni. Add some pepperoni here. And you're just gonna add some on top. And this is no way in the world traditional pasta, traditional Italian, I'm not saying it is, but goodness gracious, this does taste good. It tastes lovely. It makes me happy. It makes my family happy. So just give it a try and make sure you follow these steps. Okay. So I'm going a little bit slower so everyone can follow along here. Okay. So I'm add some pepperoni right there, just like that. Perfect. And when that's baking, the pepperoni is going to nicely infuse. It's gonna get warm. The fat of the pepperoni is gonna get rendered down into our pasta, as you can see there. Look at that. And this is a super easy one pan family dinner for seasoning. First, we're gonna do oregano. And oregano gives it that Italian flavor, that, that iconic Italian flavor that you guys all know about. So you're just gonna add a dash on each one just like this. Perfect. Now you're gonna add some basil. And it's very important to put your seasoning this way, right? Right on top of your sauce and right on top of your pepperoni. And I'll explain why, because we're gonna top this off with cheese and protein, just like that. And you don't want your seasoning to burn. That's the worst thing ever, your seasoning burning. So I have onion powder right here. So onion powder is really good. It has that iconic taste. You're gonna add some garlic powder. Okay, garlic powder is just perfect for anything. If you have garlic salt, that's perfect too. But, you know, do you boo. Next, red crushed pepper. If you don't like spicy, then you don't need to add this. But if you do like spicy, this is perfect. And if you don't like spicy, I think you should grow up a little bit. Perfect right there. Now we're gonna add some salt. Yes, I use this salt because this is the salt I have. But if you have pink salt, sea salt, any type of salt, go ahead and use it. It'd be perfect for this dish. Just sprinkle it right on top. Okay, perfect. And now we're gonna get some black pepper and you can use the freshly crushed I recommend freshly crushed but I don't have that right now so add some black pepper right on top of your food remember you want to season heavy beef and you're just gonna place it on top this is half cooked because when you're baking it it's gonna get cooked even more so don't cook it all the way but you want to cook it partially so as you can see here I'm putting some ground beef you can use chicken you can use chicken thighs. You can go just 100% vegetarian, right? If you have vegan alternatives, go ahead and use that. This recipe is so adjustable, so easy. I'm just showing you how I make it at home. Just like that. Okay, perfect. Oop. Put it on top because you want it on top. Just like that. And stunning. Okay, next step. Wipe your hands and you're gonna get some mozzarella cheese. I got this from Costco and it's just the topping you use. 
this iconic topping just like that and you want to put a good amount just right there because when you bake this the cheese is going to get nice and crispy like a lasagna something like that and it's going to come really nicely together see nicely portion everything remember you want to do this nicely and organized but if you're a little messy like me sometimes and you just want to throw it together you can do that too so this is going to toss into the oven right to 350 to 400 degrees for as long as it takes to cook my oven takes around 20 minutes but you can do whatever you want remember you want that cheese to melt in the middle and everything to get nice and cooked all the way through this is fully cooked as you can see so i cooked this for 30 minutes at 400 until it's fully cooked as you can see look at that look at that beautiful color so you're just gonna get a spatula of your choice and you're just gonna break it up like this make sure everything is melted so everything is melted you're gonna get the edges and you're just gonna serve this bad boy as is. It's absolutely delicious. And I like to top it with some fresh or some parsley. It gives it that really nice green effect as you can see as I'm doing. It makes it look a little fresher, a little herbier. Look at that. This is the final result. Let me give you a little spin to show you how delicious this is. The cheese, it should look like this. The cheese is fully melted as you can see nice and gooey and your pasta should be cooked all the way through be able to cut just like this and enjoy this is the best guys give it a try it is absolutely delicious look at that